Man, oh man, oh man. <laughs> I have stumbled across a very, very particular Taurus Collective. This particular Taurus Collective that I have connected with are playing no games. All right. Sick and tired of hearing the same repetitive messages, sick and tired of doing the same repetitive job or the same repetitive everyday expectation. I get this feeling inside my bones. It goes electric. Uh-huh. I'm hearing that song. I got this feeling inside my mm. Yeah, it's like you're ready, you're ready to just bust out these clothes. You're ready to run free. You're ready to travel. You want adventure. You're tired of having eyes on you all the time and speculating about what you're doing. You're tired of hearing about the Krabby Patties of the world and, and just everything in connection with feeling trapped and needing to find solutions and what's the best course of action. I just feel like you're done. You know what I'm saying? A lot of you, I'm seeing, I don't know if this is blue light. So this could be blue light through like work, working from home on your computers or just working in a more digital society. Digital, digital, get down. <clears throat> just you and me someone's tired of looking at the screen they're tired of looking at their phone they want human interaction they want face-to-face -face interaction they want touch companionship intimacy like I'm sick and tired of desiring something I'm ready to just have it already like someone is just ready to reach inside the phone <laughs> I'm seeing Willy Wonka like reach inside of the little TV and pull out the person or pull out something that makes someone feel good. I don't care if it's a candy bar or something that you've just been restricting yourself from. Ready to reach through the phone, reach through the television and pull out whatever that is so you can have it in person. <laughs> That's the energy that like it's not fair. That's what I'm hearing. So if that resonates with you and you know that you have been putting in the work and you know that you are focused on expansion and grow your passion and just staying high above all the drama, I feel you, boo. I feel you. I feel your pain. Um, you know, <laughs> it's, not, it's not fun in me. It's lonely at the top. So if y'all are in that energy of it's lonely at the top or maybe you're not lonely per se, but it's not a lot of people are coming to your level and you're you're not wanting to step stoop down to anyone else's level. So it technically it's lonely at the top and you're just waiting for the right person to come along. But at this point, I feel like you're ready to just snatch someone <laughs> Not just anyone, but you're ready. You hear it. You can feel this person's energy. And now you're ready for them to just physically manifest. If that's me, this message may resonate with you guys. Um, we do have another personal reading winner that we will be celebrating at the end of these messages. Um, so if y'all are new, welcome to our love mess over here on top of this tarot. If you're returning, welcome back. This could be you someone else or playing out from a cross watcher's perspective so remember all of my readings are timeless so until you are ready to receive it it may not resonate with you all right <clears throat> let's get your channel messages because you're it's like set you free you're ready to like get out of your head you're ready for someone else to get out of their head you want what you deserve <clears throat> you want what you deserve yeah I'm seeing someone doing the same routine over and over again every single day I wake up you brush your teeth <laughs> you wash your face you eat your food you prepare for work you clock in you do it again <laughs> and some of you guys you're not clocking in but it's like you, maybe you're cleaning up tidying up around the house or you are 
going the same route every single day. I'm just seeing something like another day in the neighborhood. Okay. <clears throat> so we have baby here. Confirmation. Someone may want a baby or there's a spirit baby in connection with this. Oh man, I saw. Okay. I'm seeing Sailor Moon. Fighting evil by moonlight. When it comes by daylight. I believe in the tuxedo mask and Sailor Moon's daughter went back to the past or something like that to make sure that their her parents got together to have her <laughs> or something like that. Something was restricting Sailor Moon and Tuxedo Mask from, they were crushing on each other real heavy. Uh, and they had their, they had their alter egos, right? They had their superhero identity and then they had their normal everyday identity. So this may be someone that wears multiple hats, okay? So they may have like, there's a part of them that no one gets to see. Uh-huh. Yeah, we have spouse in reverse. So in a past life, this spirit baby wasn't able to come through because the two of you never got together. So the spirit baby is kind of making sure you guys get your shit together this lifetime so you don't mess up this time. One of you guys... You were this person. I'm seeing one of you was like very successful. Mm, kind of like a scientist or engineer. Could have been a doctor as well. But someone that was like an inventor, a creative. They died alone this in a past life. <clears throat> yeah, confirmation from spirit. In a past life, they died alone. They were extremely successful as far as career. Um, their life purpose, but they didn't get to experience love before they passed away. So they died alone. Mm -hmm. And this was one of the biggest promises that you or this person said to themselves was the next time that they incarnated, they were going to be more open to love. They wanted to... Um, their north node this lifetime would be like either they're single um, or either they are a loner or something to that degree. You are this person. And um, it's easy to do that. It's easy to be alone. It's easier. It's easy to just focus on the self. But there's this person's north node wants family, wants to be like a leader and to bring together a family unit or something to that degree even if it's not like an actual child it could be like adopting uh like adopting you know rescuing a dog or adopting a child <clears throat> i'm seeing that uh seeing angelina jolie brad pitt like they adopted a lot of kids but i'm also seeing a Daffy or out Daffy or something like that. They're like a couple. Yeah, we have passion. Um, they're a couple that never had kids of their own, but they adopted. So those are some of the dynamics that I'm picking up the strongest. <clears throat> so the spirit baby doesn't necessarily have to come through you per se, as far as like direct child but it would be like it would find its way to you in the in the through the realm of like a abortion not abortion excuse me abortion could be could be significant someone could have sent the spirit baby back through abortion but the spirit baby is not is relentless mm -hmm. the spirit baby is like oh no you're i'm coming through i don't care what you say <laughs> Um, this spirit baby could be an incarnation or a reincarnation of someone, um, 
like in a past life I'm picking up someone hmm like a baby that was born out of wedlock by a lover from two people that were like forbidden to love each other, but they loved each other. This child was, was born, but they grew up without their parents or something like that. So the whole purpose of this karmic, um, of this experience during this reincarnation that this spirit baby wants to have, not so much as the conception of a child. <laughs> they don't care about that part. It's more about the experience of witnessing what it's like to be in a two-parent household or witnessing what it's like to be with a parent or a couple, a parental couple that actually loves each other. Even though they may not be physically married, they love each other. So the spirit baby isn't necessarily here to like witness the whole wedding bells, the flowers, the walking down the aisle. It's more or less about capturing memories of a couple or a relationship that is extremely passionate, true love, deep intimacy. And that's gonna be the imprint that this spirit baby is intended to receive through this dynamic or this relationship dynamic. It feels like a relationship dynamic. The spirit baby is very specific that they're, they're not coming to experience the imprint of a wedding and a fairy tale around wedding bells, marriage, and happily ever after. They're coming to see the ins and out of that passion, that great love of what real hearts and souls do when they are happy with each other. So it's going to be very important that this spirit baby gets to experience that twinkle in the eye between two people on a romantic level. This may even be a connection where um you and your counterpart may never actually physically marry like uh, with the whole ceremony thing it's more like a spiritual thing a spiritual consummation um it's very angelic it kind of it's giving me that um like that demigod vibe the demigod vibes where how do I say that? Like Zeus or something. Or Poseidon taking physical form and being in love with a human type of shit. And then, ta-da, you have little Hercules <laughs> or something like that. Because um, I really feel like this is the connection where one of one or both of you are like travelers, whether that be galactic travelers um, state to state travelers, country to country travelers, and this baby is going to be highly influenced by the ability of their parents um, being able to have a, a rare type of love that never ceases to amaze this child along their development they they would never witness arguing they never witness fighting fighting but they always get to see their parents always enamored by each other in love with each other no matter how far away they are from each other that's going to be the biggest thing this child would grow up and say like my parents rarely saw each other but when they did you could feel the love you could feel the connection between the two of them like it was magic and it's going to be the, the resonance that this spirit baby, this child will say like their childhood was, they were, this is a love child. I'm just going to tell you that this child, the spirit baby wants to be incarnated as a love child. They don't care about the titles. They don't care about the mundane things. This is a baby that's not from here. <laughs> What did I say? Travel. I'm telling you, there's travel involved. This is just confirming what I said. This baby is incarnating from like somewhere else. And it's like you guys give each other a chance. Passion. You guys have the type of relationship where it's 
for better or worse. It's like we don't need the traditional weddings, titles, and bells and whistles. We have great passion. We love each other. We travel. We see each other when we can. We work out the things that we feel are different and we are always drawn back to each other it's it's pretty it's pretty cute i feel like in a past life yeah in a past life um this may have been a, a trigger with spouse like someone here wishes they never left like in i'm, I'm picking up for better or for worse energy okay so in a past life um This is definitely North Node energy. Someone didn't leave. In a past life, someone didn't leave. So they, they, one of you stayed in a relationship longer than you wanted to in a past life. You had a child. And due to the relationship, due to the the marriage or the title or whatever it was, the things that I mentioned, you stayed for the sake of the child. That child in that lifetime passed away wishing that they could have a different story. They don't want the same story that they had in that lifetime where you were unhappy and you stayed in the relationship and there was no love and there was no there was no adventure there was no freedom it was just like control control so when you do, 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 go back and you pick different aspects this particular incarnation the objective is north node energy i don't care about the relationship i don't care about the titles i don't care about um, you know, what is what? We're together because we want to be together, leaving or traveling in reverse. We're together because we want to we want to be with each other. We can focus on our life purpose, but you know, we're going to work this out because we want to work it out. We're gonna do and you know, give each other grace and hope space for one another because we want to do that. And um I'm telling you, and y'all are just going to know what the other person is feeling, can tell when something is off. Like y'all, y'all rarely have to use words. And this is what this, you guys are going to be teaching this baby. Um, Again, this does not have to be a child that you both physically have together through natural birth of that canile. This could be a child that you guys take in. This could be a child that you adopt. However, that's which is why that whole portion of, you know, having sex, inseminating an egg, and the whole birthing process is skipped. You get what I'm saying? This child could be in here still. Okay, this child could be a lot older when you get this child, but... It's definitely between the ages of birth to seven, okay? However long this child is meant to experience real passion, real passion and angelic presence in a relationship with another person because it's two, two, two. And it's like someone's a traveler. Someone travels for work. Someone goes far. Um... Whether this is like driving cars, being um, driving trucks, uh, traveling across the world, being a speaker, anything that, that deals with travel. One person is a traveler, the other person is made, like I say, stay, stay, they may stay grounded, okay? Or nested. That's that energy that I'm picking up on. But the connection is going to be very intuitive. So this child is going to master their gifts by witnessing both the adults in the situation or the dynamic 
telepathically communicate because this child is going to be able to see read between the lines so well to the point where everything that they do and don't do will directly affect this child <clears throat> so this child is super sensitive this child also is not here to witness karma repeat itself from past lives so very very intriguing i feel like this spirit baby is wants to come through <laughs> for sure this, this this baby is not from here just so you guys know it's like um it's the reincarnation of someone <clears throat> an alien okay i'm picking up roswell energy it's like the baby was born okay the baby will be born like but to, at a certain age, someone else comes online. It's hard to explain. That's what they're showing to me. So, where at a certain point in that child's life, you may go through like a spiritual death. Okay, and when I say a spiritual death, it's like you may mourn their their left their age up, right? So from birth to five, you may mourn their, after their fifth birthday. You don't even know why you're like, one day you wake up and you, the next day you don't recognize that person. It's because that child will, will pretty much go to sleep, return that consciousness back to source of the child, of the baby. And the, and the energy that comes back is of a higher being, a higher light. And, um, it's really the soul. Um, but that particular child needed to experience just enough to return back to source just enough wisdom just enough experience to go back and finish something else or overcome some type of fear you know, we have religious factors so sometimes a soul will do that they'll come in for a brief period and it may be like very very short but their their eyes saw all that they needed to see and they were able to overcome some type of fear and when it returns back to the akashic and when they reincarnate um you're going to recognize their eyes some of you guys it's going to be the reincarnation of a child that you either lost or a child that um was leaving for a period of time where they would come back in an evolved state of consciousness and they have like a great purpose but they needed to leave for a while and come back um yeah but you're still the mother that they want to mother them you're still the you're still their great mother Ooh. this child will won't have the certain religious phobias or the same religious belief systems anymore and so they will it's going to like break every chain that would have held you back and they will have the freedom to enjoy the fruits of your sacrifices and something like that and they just keep saying time isn't as linear as you think it is uh, what's new to you is also old to you very intriguing so let's get into the tarot so today we are blessing um darina travis from our comment section congratulations darina i will be giving you a personal channel message at the end of this, at the end of these messages so stay tuned for that <clears throat> Again, thank you for being yourself. Thank you for always keeping the vibes high in the comment section and sharing high vibes with other people as well. All right, so let's see. This is a really beautiful story. 
So we have death in reverse. We have, what is that, the fool? Okay, so what you need to understand is that the reason why this child may have left for a period of time is this way. There were some some choices that were made foolishly. And these choices that were made foolishly, um, it could have been like 10 years or it's like for a good... Um, how, how, how many lifetimes? This could have been 10 lifetimes as well. So what, what, what they're showing me... <laughs> I got to slow down. What they're showing me is there's a child. They passed away in flesh, but they never really died. They've always been around you. Um, some of you guys, you may have felt like... Because I am seeing like a switcher type of energy... Whereas, like, even if your particular child didn't die, they may have had, like, a near-life death experience. They, someone else's energy, like, another energy stood in for them. And they went off to get wiser. Or they went off to go and be in the spiritual realm for a while. The importance of this child not being around during a certain phase of your life was so that way they wouldn't fall underneath the same type of you know mistakes okay so let's say for example you are in a relationship and the father is acting ape shit or the mother is acting ape shit and you know how some children will wake up one day and you don't even recognize them you don't even know who they are um they're just acting completely different. And in your mind, from a fleshly perspective, you feel like they're acting like this because their father or their mother did this to them. And now they're ruined or a certain such and such. There's like a switcher energy. So someone else, someone like another, it's not another soul, kind of like another soul. <laughs> okay, so like another soul steps in and takes on the personality traits necessary to combat that type of environment and we do this a lot more than we kind of are aware of it where when we're in extreme positions of trauma or escaping energy you take on the personality or the spirit of who you need to be to survive in that environment it's the same concept with children even though we, we don't really identify with a child being able to do that because we, we look at them as a linear set. You came here, this is the amount of time you're supposed to be here, and this is where you leave. But it doesn't really work like that. Actually, children are the most, just like the crown on their head is open at the first, day, first stages of life. A lot of cultures will place a lot of binding spells and bracelets and things like that to kind of tether them to their body. Certain cultures will um, place certain dream catchers and different things around their bed. So that way there's no other walk-ins, right? But pretty much the portal is still open, right? So with a cer certain amount of years in life that while that portal is still open, certain cultures will work really hard to keep that portal guarded and protected. Now, I'm not saying that anything is wrong, if you haven't had that knowledge to protect it, everything will work out in its highest, greatest good. So in that in this example that I'm giving you, um, the the child's innocence would leave, okay, their body, and yes, they would wake up, but it may be a they may respond differently in a hectic situations they may feel older and you may feel like oh they're acting totally different i don't recognize because there was a switch there was a switch where there was like something that a consciousness level that was switched on or actual soul swapping um it's to get the vessel where it needed to go with little to no damage to the to the consciousness of that 
being or that soul. So as that soul takes some time away from this realm, they come back, right? That's what I'm seeing here. So while you're going through these learning experiences, this particular soul chose to, to, to exit. It didn't want to go through the, the mental um, and deep cellular conflict that you would have to clear out. So that child may have said, hey, listen, abort me. That child may have said, hey, listen, I don't want to be here. So however they exit, <laughs> pretty much um, they can decide to come back. Okay. And whatever soul was operating their vessel, they can claim it. All right. And that's an option that's left open by source. That's what they're showing me. Um, and so they can channel back down a particular energy. And this is where you would look at your child and be like, damn, my child is so much wiser. They woke up one day and they're so much wiser. or They just know so much. A lot of times when their dream state, they went somewhere else. So 10 weeks for you is like 10 years for them on the other side. You get what I'm saying? Um, 10 days for you is like 10 life cycles for them. So it's not as, it's not as um, quick or as fast as the perception of mind will, will tell you, but it's all the, the, the overall purpose or intention of why they leave and come back it has something to do with the uploading and downloading of consciousness, of information, of data in preparation for things that we are yet to understand. Okay. So in the blink of an eye, in a flash, things will look totally different and it, and it will be, it will appear magical, but it's really by um, design. Okay. An ability. To, to leave the, the vessel and take on an etheric body. You don't have to go through a traumatic death or a traumatic exit or to take yourself out. You can meditate yourself there, right? Children have this ability at young, okay? It's just something that naturally happens. They spend more time with source than we do because they are less imprinted on. The more imprints that weigh us down, um, the more we're tethered here in this dimension, okay? So the sensitivity is really telling me that when you and this person get together or get back together, whatever it is, I do feel like whatever this connection is, it's not a connection where it's betrayal, 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 betrayal. Been there, done that. This is a connection where, like I said, it's, it's intently um, telepathic. It's extremely mature but it took time to mature to that state okay so nothing is ever lost it may be it may be delayed or put on, on pause but it's never lost to you if it's meant to come in so i feel like you don't have to worry <clears throat> this is a period of time for you to really hone in on your gifts because you're going to need your senses to be able to discern and decipher, okay, a real, real love from fake love. And I'm talking about the real love because there are, there's, there's people that switch, okay, so they, they can embody something and hold it for a long period of time. But I feel as if. <clears throat> whoever this person is damn they never forgot you there's someone romantically that never forgot you um, something isn't over here something isn't over so I, I am seeing someone like being called home, okay, but they don't die. But it's like a near life death or like a health condition that may bring someone close to it. And with judgment here, 
they're going to decide to come back because it's not their time yet or something like that. Like they can leave, but it's not their time to completely stay gone or something like that. And so they're going to return and whatever was holding them back and keeping them on the same repetitive hamster wheel with past karma or south node energy it's like the cords are going to be cut etherically and it's going to set them free this could also be like spells illusions doing things foolishly foolishly that the person normally wouldn't do this could be the grip of a mother a father figure it doesn't have to be another karmic in the sense of a parent but this could be a binding that was done at birth uh, and so someone could have belonged, their flesh could have belonged to someone else from a very baby age. And through that prayer or through that covering, that child belonged to a certain head, okay? Um, magician, sorcerer, witch, whatever you want to call it. And um, taboo. And so it's like in order for them to go on that journey of reclaiming themselves back, I see that they had to save themselves. They had to go on a journey and figure out what, where it was coming from, where the karma was stemming from, what lifetime was it stemming from? Why is it holding me back? Because we have the Ten of Swords and the Ten of Pentacles. So this is telling me that something may have happened eons ago lifetimes ago but it was very powerful because the ten of pentacles is saying that something was split and this could have been split inheritance um one a person that was split in two um damn this is deep so i'm telling you the two of wands the two of wands Okay, Ten of Pentacles, something was split, something was binded, and something was evading another person's choice. I'm seeing that someone was, I'm seeing mummification, okay, so some of you guys may resonate with, like, the... The, the ritual process from past lives of being, you know, decapitated, tuned, and placed in a cryostasis in the physical flesh that continues a karmic wheel of bad karma over and over and over again. It's engineered hell. If I can describe engineered hell, it's like by design, the engineers of this realm placed uh, someone or a collective that resonates with this in a a negative in negative cycles where they are only able to incarnate and experience the negative side of any type of lifestyle okay gridlocking them to a specific type of codependent lifestyle but I feel like so many lifetimes you've incarnated with the same recycled souls. And in order to tether you here, which means you may be very mythical. Mm hmm. You may be very mythical. Magicianry type of energy, even though the magician is here, like you pop up. But again, like that mummification energy is like... Um, never aging immortality type of energy but someone did some type of spell of splitting to make it harder for you to reincarnate or to come back and choose what lifestyle you want everyone should have free will right will of fortune of what lifestyle they want to they want to incarnate what they came to learn, things like that, and ex the experience of itself. But you may be directly connected to the first prototypes, okay? And those first prototypes are like the host for every other incarnation or something like that. 
<clears throat> That's what they had said. That's what they had said. Okay. A lot of this is coming from a couple of people feeling rejected. A couple of people feeling like um, they were a fool. I don't necessarily feel like you did anything, Taurus, or this person. I feel like it was um, bad timing. You made people feel uncomfortable by the things that you knew. And so they started to speculate and talk about the things that you were saying. Um, and, and it made them feel inferior. And it made them feel like you are... No one should have that gift or that ability. Like, yeah, you trigger past life phobias in people. And so you became like a, the hunted. Yeah, they started to investigate you. Kind of like watch you, see what you do. So I do pick up this energy, like I said, of inventors. Or they would call you like an alien or something like that. It's like when someone would talk to you and you would tell them your abilities, just being honest, your ability to kind of remote view and to see in certain things or just to know what a person desires and know what they're saying be without saying it or to know what a person is thinking without ever mentioning it made a lot of people feel scared, made a lot of people speculate. And it's like. Because you came to a, a level of consciousness where they couldn't perceive more than the, the constructs of their dimension. And so it was like, no, you go this way, I go that way type of energy. They became afraid of you. And and as a way, it's like they they lured you into a particular environment you may have thought these were your friends and they lured you into a particular room environment and then they kind of like it's like that get out energy you're we're gonna weigh you down yeah to keep you descended and being unable to their objective because i'm seeing american horror stories uh whether good or bad, it's like they they binded you or or casted you in a particular realm, like the in between <sighs> or something like that. So like the only way for this soul to incarnate or something like that was like through the manifestation of someone helping them out, letting them out. Is giving is giving is giving gen energy. I want to hold you a little bit. You know, everybody call it different names, but I am seeing Abu, Abibi, <laughs> the full in reverse. Again, why do fools fall in love? Why do birds seem so gray? Why do they fall in love? Uh-huh. There was a lot of gossip about a choice. There's a lot of gossip about a choice that someone was making. And what was the choice? I feel like there was a choice. Leaving one person and going to another. Or traveling you're trying to leave and someone was like cut off from their traveling abilities eight of swords yeah someone had a gift of like tele teleportation telekinesis travel or something like that and for somebody they were burned at the stake um it's like seeing multiple stories Someone's life work was, I heard of Houdini. Someone's life work was stolen. And other people wrote about it and pretty much made it seem as if it was their own. Very 
where is this person going? It's like someone was getting ready to leave or go somewhere else. Yeah, Six of Swords, that's leaving, right? Someone was getting out of Dodge, getting out of town or moving. They want to go on a voyage, travel the world. They didn't want to be wherever they were. That was just like the, the moral of the story. Someone wanted to travel. Someone wanted to be anywhere but stuck. They had keen insight. They knew it was right from wrong. And they wanted to stand up for themselves. And I feel like this lifetime is he heavily tied to all those multiple stories. Um, and I feel like in those past lives, you didn't leave. And in this life, you have this desire of traveling the world, seeing the world, being a nomad. Or just not, so not being stuck or confined anywhere where you're not appreciated even if it's a relationship yeah <clears throat> you want to fly with dragons in the land of hearts <laughs> i feel like you don't want to be stuck trying to heal the masses you want to be yourself in with free autonomy to do so this is it but in order to bring in this, call this into fruition, I feel like you had to let go of this, this lack mentality that was given to you, this abandonment that was given to you. You had to become whoever it is you need to become in order to embrace who, who you always was. So the masculine in this energy, the emperor in this energy is... The masculine in this dynamic, whoever the emperor is, like I said, they've been on a journey of uncovering parts of themselves. In this lifetime, you weren't going to be able to sacrifice yourself to do it for them. They would have to do it themselves. And you've been on a journey of dominating your own feelings and using your intellect and your wits and your own analytical mind in order to become the version of yourself that you needed to be to withstand stand up and be clear about your wants and needs and that is the palm trees that's the evolution of this empress energy that i'm picking up on and you've arrived i feel like you're just really indulging at this point in a good way your heart is open you're very in tune. Mm -hmm. Like I said, you're just ready to share it with somebody else. You know what I'm saying? At this point, you go from having a cup to a whole ocean. you just been bathing in your own love. <laughs> Doing the everyday routine and just bathing in your own energy. You've had that perspective shift and now it's your season. Now it's your turn. And you deserve this. So let's get your closing message because this is cute. Which card you want to use? <clears throat> Man, whoever y'all are, y'all got some real stories. Okay? Lifetimes. This may be like, like I said, like your last lifetime. You're at the end of the road of something. You know what I'm saying? You you definitely at the end of the road of this. Let me fix my cards. All right, spirit. So the message for Taurus. <clears throat> I run away. This is that again. So what's your closing message to Taurus? So we have elephant greatness. Um, love is your strength. Leadership is your path. Your wisdom inspires everyone you meet. You can overcome any problem. You will naturally and easily achieve success. So that's your message that I have for you, Taurus. As always, I'm sending you lots of love, wisdom, and guidance on your journey. And if you are Dorina Travis, 
be sure to check out your personal reading at the end and I'll see you on the other side. Toodles. Congratulations, Darina Travis. TT here, we're gonna get your channel message, your personal reading, the messages the spirit has for you, have for you at this time. I hope whenever you're guided to this reading, you're having the best day ever. All right. <clears throat> Let's just get into it. Spirit, what is your chance message? What's your messages for Darina? Travis in the comment section. All right. The Fool in Reverse. This, this has been like a theme all day. The Fool in the Reverse. We're Fool in the Reverse. Um, <clears throat> I definitely view this as this may be someone from your past. Okay, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio doesn't have to be them necessarily but i am picking up someone that is emotionally very intelligent they may be the type of person where they okay there's a thin line here mm -hmm. because this person has the effect on you where you may get very impulsive and you want to like jump in your car go go to that person or you want to like get take the matters into your own hands this person may have that type of energy that could just pull it out of you you know make you want to chase somebody make you want to run after them but i feel like make you act like a fool for them type of energy i feel like with the king of king of cups uh they're the type of creatures where if you are very emotionally invested in them or in anything for that matter to the point where you need a lot of attention or you need a lot of validation or you need a lot of confirmation those are like wet red wed <laughs> especially if it's about weddings and what we're what are we what are we going to do next those are like uh, red flags to the king of cups energy because the king of cups energy understands that emotional intelligence means you're in control of your own emotions and there's no pressure there's no expectations and there's no need to be constantly validated by the king of cups because the king of cups doesn't necessarily wear their emotions on their sleeve they're very um in tune with the vibration or the vibes around them and when it starts to become extremely demanding and there's a an undertone right reading between the lines type of energy it's a confirmation for them that they need to pull away so during your perspective shift of your own personal elevation your the way you perceive experiences or the way you perceive responsibilities have to change if you're like oh i'm so sick of today today was irritating and you're just emotionally expressive not telling you to fake and be anyone else but it's through maturity that actually evolves a person it's through life experiences that actually evolves a person so when you run away from those things or you're sick and tired of those things it's a clear indication that you haven't really matured and through that process, that King of Cups energy is going to pick up on it and they're going to feel like you're reckless, right? Um, however, because they're so, um, they're so perfect or they're just everything you would want, they also have that charm that makes you want to jump off the nearest, you know, whatever to go after them in the act of love but that reads to them as impulsive that reads to them as immature that reads to them as reckless behavior and so they look at it like hey the swords are trying to trap me what is your intentions because you're it's not a space where you go for for um that type of energy pushes people away and again i keep stressing they keep stressing to tell you that it's not a matter of acting the part it's a matter of going through the life experiences that allows you to become the person that's necessary for whatever it is that you're wishing praying and hoping for if it's a person 
and you feel like it's that's too far removed from who you truly are, then that may not be the the type of relationship that you personally would want to continue pursuing. So this is also an opportunity that the universe is giving you for you to determine if you are desiring something out of naivety or inexperience, or rather this is someone that you genuinely feel you can go the distance with because we can romanticize someone else um, and they have this negative effect on us that places us in a deplete, depleted energy rather than an energizing energy. So like I said, <clears throat> the universe is asking you to pay attention to the red flags. They're asking you to listen to this divine message because I saw a dove and the dove always reminds me of the Noah and the ark where the dove came to give like that message of when land was coming so it's like wait on the lord <laughs> wait on that divine message that lets you know your person is coming until that happens enjoy the journey that's kind of what it is enjoy the experience date other people i feel like you care about what other people will say about you like you don't want to be perceived as promiscuous or that you were all around town dating everybody that's a belief system that's been given to you you don't have to sleep with every tom dick and harry to date every tom dick and harry <laughs> you know some whatever happened to like the days of just being friends with people without it being perceived as oh you know oh you were with them like so what? I feel like spirit is saying like it's time for you to change. Mm, damn. The page of cups in reverse. Yeah, this is strong, naive. You're a fool for somebody. Three of Pentacles. They don't do anything. Like they don't even try. They don't even try to uh, put in any work. If you let them, they'll take complete advantage of you. And put you in competition. Unless this is you. Take it out of resonate. This could be you or someone else. But this is definitely the wheel of fortune in reverse. This is bad luck, bad news. And you're going to need to ask yourself. It is pretty much saying ask yourself if this is what you really want this is who you really want to marry this is who you really want to be with it's time to take stock and evaluate what you're attracted to why you're attracted to it what about it makes you feel like it's magical because i don't see anything magical here i see something very familiar and i see something that is more based off of you wanting something versus it being good for you like i want this and sometimes the want of who we want can sh sh cloud our judgment so your guides are asking you to really ask yourself if you want to put yourself in a position where you groom yourself to be everything that this person may want or need they are not the holy grail but the, the the choice is yours. And that's what they're stressing with the will of fortune. The choice has to be yours. You're the only person that can determine this. So um, if that resonates with you, possibly, I, I would recommend your situation needs more of a personal, longer reading. But um, that's the overall message that they're giving to you. And uh, let's get you a blessing, right? I just feel like you need a blessing. What blessing is coming towards? <clears throat> so we know. You've been wishing for something. I keep picking up wishing energy. Oh, we got the moon. There's going to be some secrets that are coming in for you. And it's going to be revealed to you. I'm here in the next 21 days. It's significant. Pay attention to your intuition at this time and move ahead confidently. When you get those confirmations of your intuition, 
trust them because you're going to be giving it um and it's going to be like your call judgment at the bottom of the deck your call um for the last call something about the last call it's going to be the last call for alcohol <laughs> all right darina take care love you bye